Hey guys, what's up? Uh, finally gonna make some videos. And there's a few things I'm gonna talk about. One is lately I've been, as you can see, changing some things around. I got these. I hope you can see those. I'll show you guys how to make them. Um, this blue tape. I'm just mostly getting ready for when I have a lot of snakes, like those breeders. Like, if I ever become, which I hope I do, a big breeder where I have a bunch of snakes and stuff like that, then I will be ready. Because the last thing I want to be concerned about is organization and things going wrong. So I'm kind of getting ready for that. I've switched some things to bedding to try out some new things, and yeah. So before I start get before I get started with all the talk and stuff, I want to give two shout outs. One is to um, one of my close friends, Sam Lupine. That's his channel, S A M space L U P E A N. He's been an expert with me. He's awesome. He wants to definitely get into breeding I think colubrids mostly and yeah he's cool so check his channel out also um just so you guys know check out um Sean Reptiles E Dog and Innate and like always SF Serpents which is the business that we all all in so yeah so first, I'll tell you about, I'll get over the sad story. I went to the, what is it, the Baltimore Repticon Expo with a few of my, or my business partners and Sam Lupine. And while we were there, um, E-Dog and an Ian. He got this awesome, probably the best looking Wilma Python I have ever seen. So check out him. It's really awesome. And then Sean got a frill dragon. And I don't remember exactly, so check out his um, channel. But it was like a sun glow leopard gecko. Some type of leopard gecko, adult leopard gecko. So check that out definitely. Um. Oh, here's my salmon boa. He's looking pretty good. His tail. He's looking decent today. Um, and I got this rare Japanese rat snake called a Kunishir Island rat snake. Um, they're really cool if you've ever seen them as albinos and normals. Um, but on the way home, I'm not sure exactly what happened, but... He passed away on the drive home, so I'll be getting another one soon, so check out for that. And then on to some exciting things, I have, I'm have i getting a new edition, I think I it's getting shipped on Wednesday, so I'll make an unboxing video, and it's called, if you've ever heard of it, a Hypocyclone Boa. Um, there's not too many people that have ever bred these, only a few, so some plans for it, it's a male that will be ready to breed next year. I'm either going to get another hypocyclone, so that I can get super hypo super, super cyclones, which have the full stripe going down its whole back, which looks amazing. And then a super hypo into it looks even better. And I might do that, but if I don't have the money yet, I'll breed it to an albino, a female adult albino, so then I can get double, double sun glow, double head, no. Yeah, double head sun glow. Um, what are they called? Double head sun glow cyclone boas, and breed them together, and hopefully I'll be able to get some sun glow cyclone boas, which I've never seen. I don't know if anybody's ever produced them before. Um, so yeah, it's an exciting project. Um, I finally got a tripod too, so hopefully my videos will be a little better. So yeah, I'm going to put them back fast, and I'll show you some of the things I've been doing. 
Let me come back. I'll show you what my snake room looks like. So, so I got my main rack system, which has some mess up there. I have two trumpet posters. If you don't know, I play trumpet. I'll probably make a video of me playing trumpet sometime. Then I got some snakes. I got my bed. Something that my bed broke, so I'm sleeping right there right now. My beer dragon is right in there. And then I don't have tubs for this rack yet, but not all of them. So they're on the ground for now. They're gonna move soon. And then I've got have another trumpet guy playing trumpet. Little this is pretty cool. My dad got it. My dad's a doctor. So he was working with snake things. And he got this. You probably can't see that. But it says. Management of North American Pit Viper. Viper and tells you everything you have to do. If you ever got bit. Like one. Goes down. Like. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. Then it's really big. Has bad glare. But trumpet. This. Arizona Rattlesnake. Because my grandma was in Arizona, so she got me this. All of rattlesnakes. Some mess up there, right there. And then, over here. Let me shut my door fast. I have this North American snakes. These are non venomous, and then venomous snakes. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. So, I guess. I'll start off with showing you these. What these are. Here, let me get my indigo a little lower. One second. I get better with this tripod. Just gotta give me a little time, I guess. <laughs> Probably a lot of time. But one second. There we go. That's good. Hey. Right. So what I have, I'll pull this off. I'll put it right. Here. All right. So what this is is I bought these things. Let me get one. All right. So I bought everything at Walmart. So I bought these little things, they're called get badge holders, and they have these holes on them, and then right here, you can see a little, one flap, right there. So I got these, what well, I did, then I got these, I think, five inch index curls, and I cut right where that red line is, so it fits just right in there, and then I cut, just so, if you went, like, I'll show, I can show you. Right here. So you cut that right where the red line is. It fits just right in here. And then you just cut it right there. And the I'll show you why I use index cards in a second. So the index is on the back. You can see that. And then this one side has like lines. One side doesn't have lines. On this side, what I did is I wrote what type of snake is so my, this is my female albino okatee and then I have names to them so I wrote Freya and right here what I did is let me get a male tag I just picked two random colors and I picked female is like kind of pinkish pinkish orange I don't know and then blue is for male there's my chocolate head lavender snow so that way I'm really bad at for signs you know the male and female signs. So this way, at a glance, I can just say female, male. It's really easy. Um, so yeah. And then I attach these little key rings and then this thing so it hooks onto the top just like that. And then on the back, I don't know if you can see that, but there's lines right here and I drew a line. Every single month now, I'm going to be weighing my snakes. 
So this can last like two years, I think. With the lines, if I write wait, wait, make a date and the wait. And then during breeding season, I can write when they bred. I mean, I'm not going to pull them out because they're underneath a bunch of stuff. But I have these things. They're like little stickers, like red, like circles, like that. So I can put them on there and write little things. So, yeah. And then I'll show you real fast. If I turn right there. So, this is my female. Uh, so, ba basically what it is, is females always stay here. So, this thing's never going to move. It's always going to stay here. Down here, here's a male. Let me clip that on. So, the male tag, every time during breeding, I'll take this off and I'll put it up here next to that one. Right there. So just be like, take that off, put it right there, and I know what, the, what they're doing. Okay? So that's what I'm doing that way. Oh, I give most of the credit for all, like, for the tags. I have them going down all there. I give all the credit mostly to um, LIC Lack Reptiles. That's where I kind of got it from, so check him out. He's awesome. Um, yeah. And then another thing is, I've been watching Jeremy Stone videos and things like that. So, right here, he does this. Don't pay attention to all my other stuff. <laughs> uh, I took this blue tape, and what I did is I put it on the sides. Yeah, I'll put it down. Hold on a second. Just it's going down the whole rack. So this way I can write things like say this is a live feeder. I could write live feeder. Oh wait no. Like right now I have this one thing, you probably can't see it. But or usually my I'm changing this around soon, but usually my female king is in this one. So I wrote female breeds with male because usually people put the male in the female's cage for breeding. But in this case, if you put the male in the female's cage, the female will try to eat the male, king snake wise. Or my, the ones that I got will. So I have to put the female actually in the male's cage. So that would be the hissing. Right now it's just my albino okati. I'll show you her in a minute. Another thing is, put this up. Okay. I'm using this new substrate, I'm trying it out, sorry for the mess, it's a clean day today, but um, what this is, it's called craft paper, it's kind of neat, I'm just trying it out, let's see, where is she, there's her, I'm not going to get her, and then, I think it's a cleaning day, so it's really messy in here. He's back there being all grumpy, like always. And then, let me show you two new things. Oh, actually, this is not new. I'll just show you. There's my bow, if you can see him. He usually has a hiding and stuff, but I just cleaned his cage. It's clean day again, so. I think he's like the only cage I clean. Alright, so, so I'm gonna take my camera. Off. Do this thing. There you go. Oh. Sorry. There you go. All right, so right here. I don't think I made a vid on him yet. This guy's evil. Watch, ready? He's gonna try to bite and hiss and do everything. See, he's flattening it out. 